So what I wanted to share with you today was uh, a situation where, in this particular case, we are actually going to be extracting tooth number two uh, to allow us to place a normal size number three and, and a number 30 below. Uh, so you can see right here. And uh, number two uh, does need to come out, as you can see right here, is rotated. And uh, from the CBCT, the significant bone loss here. And so what I would like to do is actually go ahead and put a normal size tooth number three in here. Uh, and to do that, number two is in my way. So I'd like to go ahead and uh, remove virtually extract tooth number two. So I'm, to do that, I'm going to use the replace tool. Uh, so I'm going to go to the edit model phase here. And I'm simply going to draw a line around my tooth number two just like so close it up click apply and this should allow the software to go ahead and virtually extract tooth number two and here we can see I made some errors in the line drawing so as we can look closer here we can see right in here where my lines are incorrect. And then let's go ahead and get that fixed up here as well. Just like so, click apply. And there we go. And now we have done a virtual extraction. And now what I will do is actually use my smooth tool. And I'll come in here and just smooth out my model, just like so. Or you can use a remove tool. and just remove these areas. We can adjust our strength as necessary. Okay, and then I like using the smooth tool here as well. And there we go. And so just like that, uh, we'll probably need to do a little better job of smoothing this area right here out. Let's get rid of that. So I'd like to go ahead and get rid of a lot of these artifacts. just like so. There we go. So now we have our model edited and now we can move forward, set our model axis and uh, kind of move forward from there.